Yeah, I, I remember Hurricane Katrina vividly. You know, I, I still remember seeing the the pictures on the news of the boats riding through an American city and the search teams, rescue teams. Uh, even months later, I, I remember going to New Orleans and seeing the markings on houses about whether someone was still there or not, whether they had found a dead body in the house. Um, I mean, it, it was, it was devastating. So I arrived in Atlanta as the new pastor of Ebenezer Baptist Church two months after Katrina. And just a few months after that, they had an election in New Orleans. The politicians, in a real sense, who were running, didn't know where their citizens were. Where will the emergency operations center be? Where will it? It'll mm -hmm. be in City Hall. And, and what about the shelter? A lot of the citizens dealing with just basic necessities barely knew in some instances who was running. They were dealing with basic subsistence issues. And meanwhile, the state said that if you wanted to vote in New Orleans as a citizen of New Orleans, in, in almost every case you had to return. Vote by mail was almost non-existent for most of the citizens of that city. And so we made an announcement in the city that if you were from New Orleans, but living in Atlanta and you wanted to return to vote, Ebenezer Baptist Church will take you back. So on a Friday night, we had a prayer service at our church, boarded a caravan of buses, put a team of lawyers on those buses in case folks ran into issues as they were trying to exercise their basic constitutional right drove through the night, arrived in New Orleans uh, just as the sun was coming up. And then um, because people had to get to their actual precincts, we then put them on school buses to get them to their actual voting precincts. Um, John Lewis used to say that the vote is almost sacred. I actually think that the vote is sacred. It, it is the democratic expression of this idea that all of us have value, and so we ought to have a voice uh, in determining our own destiny. Powerful interests certainly know the importance of the vote. You know, I say to young people all the time who say, ah, my vote doesn't count. I'm like, well, if it doesn't, there certainly are a lot of people working real hard to keep you from using it. It must, it must count. I mean, who, what, whoever would have imagined that we would wake up in America and there'd be trucks somewhere in Michigan or in Montana um, taking away mailboxes. Um, it's a dystopian nightmare. And I think, once again, citizens all over the country, in whatever place you live, whatever platform of influence you occupy, we have to say, no, you will not stop us from voting. We're going to vote no matter what.